what is going on guys thank you very much for clicking on this video in which i'm going to show you the only way to use corner rods because believe it or not not every corner rod acts the same if you're a more experienced man and player that seems kind of obvious to you but many people don't know that different corner rods can react very differently and you cannot use one corner rod to beat every coverage in every zone you need to understand how zones work and how corner routes work in, or in order to get them open. And I can guarantee you the gun bunch weak formation has corner routes that can beat any zone and any man coverage your opponent sends at you. Now excuse me a little bit beforehand, um, I've got kind of like a sore throat. And yeah, but I still wanted to record the video and I think this is a video that's going to help you improve your Madden game a lot because this actually translates to a lot of different formations. If you run the gun much weak formation, that's perfectly fine because that fits my scheme that I'm trying to show you here. But if you run different formations, like for example gun trip sign in, also has a lot of different corner routes and by testing uh, those corner routes you can see which ones get open against what coverage and it's very important to know that different corner routes act very differently. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and let's get right into the video. Alright, the first thing that I'm going to show you is a corner route that beats pretty much only man coverage. It does beat some zone coverages, but you need a specific adjustment for it to get open against zone. So it's basically almost a purely man beating route. It works great against man. It's a man killing route is going to get open pretty much every time. Of course, man coverage is a little bit funk funky sometimes, so I uh, don't know how it's going to react on uh, the next play, but I'm going to say in 85-90% to 90 of the time, this gets open. So we're going to, yeah, that's the right controller. We're going to go into the gun bunch weak formation and we're going to choose the play stick. It's, it has a very uh, sharp corner route, so it's almost like, a, like an out route, but it's not quite an out route. We're going to com come out in, yeah, let's go. Cover one, rubber. And please excuse some voice cracks because, like I said, I got a sore throat. I have many voice cracks as it is, so yeah, it's gonna be even tougher with this, with my sore throat. Okay, look at Gordon. He's a really sharp corner rod, and I'm just gonna run this corner rod and show you how it absolutely demolishes man coverage. That wasn't even that great because it got bumped, so I'm gonna show you that it works better to the wide side of the field. Yeah, that's man coverage and he, he even gets bumped there and S Stefan Gilmore is actually a really good man coverage corner but you saw he still got burned on that corner route that shows you how great of a corner route it is now let's talk about the zones it does get open against it's pretty much only a cover two zone with hot flats <laughs> that's a yeah, cover three that's pretty much the only uh, coverage that doesn't defend that play well you can see I can fit that in with the Lead to the sideline. If I want to beat that exact coverage with this play, I would also streak Edelman. But I pretty much would only run this play if I want to get open against man coverage. Now we're gonna talk about a route that gets open against cover three zone, but I need to choose a different play here. I'm gonna put a cut right here. Once again, we use this stick route, this sharp corner route, to beat man coverage. It doesn't get open against most zone coverages. That was pretty close actually because Stefan Gilmore played it and that's one of those few instances in which this route gets played. If, if you have a better route runner than Flash Gordon, you have a better chance of getting open. All right, the next corner route that I'm gonna show you out of this formation is primarily to beat cover three zone coverages. I'm gonna choose Z spot for this. You can see it, it's in the X, like play call menu, whatever. And we're gonna come out in our big time, our beloved big time, cover three sky. I have cloud flats on. And pretty much we're only talking about the uh, corner route because the important thing in this video is how to get the corner route open. Backside you can do pretty much anything you want. But most of the time I just streak, uh, circle, in route, brown and that's kind of like my basic setup. You can motion Gordon out, or you can keep him in. That's pretty much, it acts pretty much the same. No, it doesn't. To the white side, I apparently need to motion him out. All right, that was a great example. You saw how it got open. 
So yeah, once again, here we have our. Don't need to switch the hash marks. I just need to motion R clear out route to the outside. Okay, so this is the setup to get the corner route open, presumably. We're gonna see if that holds true. And it does. So you can see the important thing to get is to get a corner route open against a cover three zone is to make sure that we have a corner route on the middle receiver. We don't want it, want it on the outside receiver like in that stick play. We want it in, on, the, in the, on the middle receiver spot, excuse me. So we can motion a streak out to clear out the cover three zone because this year cover three zones without a clear route actually play a corner route. So they jump down on the corner route, which is good for cover three beaters. But if we want to get a corner route open, we obviously need to find a concept that gets the corner route open and occupies that cornerback with another route. In this case, a streak route, and the streak route is pretty much the only way you can occupy cornerbacks this year aside with the form of fade. But the streak is a way better route than the fade, so I recommend you to put streaks on the field. Again, that's the concept to beat to get a corner route behind Cloud Flats in a cover three shell. And yeah, Stefan Gilmo had his X Factor on there, it's turned off now. You're gonna see that it's way it's it's getting way more open this time than the last time. Because it doesn't react, react quite as well. And you see he was wide open. Tom Brady also has a bit of a noodle arm if I have a guy like I don't know, maybe you're a big spender like Mike Wick in Ultimate Team. Then he's gonna make that pass and it's gonna the ball is gonna be in the receiver spot in like let's say one second and that's pretty much too fast for any CB. Even if he's reacting as well as Stefan Gilmore. That's enough for the cover three beating corner rods. Let's talk about how to beat a cover two with the corner rod. Obviously. Alright, so pretty much my voice is killing me. I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible because I think it's very uh, very annoying to listen to someone with this bad over voice. It's not usually that uh, that my voice is this sore, but yeah. Here we go and here we are. We're gonna talk about the play corner rod, uh, corner strike. We're gonna talk about the corner rod out of the play corner strike to beat cover two zones. I'm just gonna select that really quick. And we're gonna come out in Tampa 2 because we want cloud flat zones on the field. Some guys have, have actually seen this spin being uh, pretty popular this year to put soft squads on the field because they act like uh, cloud flat zones but they then actually man up it's important to understand when to use those routes and most people online still play uh, cloud flats so I think it's more it makes more sense to show it against cloud flats but still be aware that some people put, put <coughs> excuse me some people put soft squads on the field and uh, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind Yes, here we are. We want a corner route that's kind of like at this angle. It's like a deeper corner route. If you look at the play, do we, have, we don't have the play. I hope you remember the play uh, stick I showed you earlier. The play stick is has got kind of like a sharper corner route. This one is a bit thinner. It's not quite as hard of a cut. Here, and you're gonna see how that gets open. We want a streak to clear out the uh, deep blue, like the Tampa two zone. The deep half, there you go. And yeah, pretty much the only thing that's important is the only things that are important to display are the streak and the corner route. Backside, you can do whatever you want. Once again, I mostly put in routes because they are a bit more delayed. You can put a slant there if you exp if you think they're gonna man up that side because in route doesn't beat man just as well as a, as a slant route. So keep that in mind. But backside, you can do anything you want, and I like to put. The flat route on the cross in case the outside CV is manned up on the corner route, I can throw to the cross. Because, okay, here we go, and here we are. We're gonna, th I'm gonna show you how you can pretty much take this to the house. It's a very high likelihood that this, if I wreck that, I got a high chance of taking it to the house. And Stefan Gilmer actually played that really well right here. You're gonna see that he's not gonna play this route this well all the time yeah 
So yeah, this this rod combination it just kills cover too. And those people uh, who play online know that there is a lot of cover two uh, cover two blitzing going on. So what I'd recommend you to beat the blitz. I'm obviously okay. I'm gonna just set the blitz up that most people run online. It's not the same bl uh, blitz. It's not the exact same blitz they run because I obviously, obviously didn't choose to play. But yeah, so let's try it. Never mind. The thing with blitzing out of this formation is it's very effective, as you can see there. It gets open, or the blitz gets picked up very, uh, not very often. But if it gets picked up, then we can see how open this corner route really is. Gets. And once again, if you have a better stick, then pause. If you if you have better, uh, come on, if you have better uh, stick skills than I have, not pause worthy because I already paused. Oh, was killing me. I'm sorry. Um, if you have better like skill on the left thumbstick, you can probably take that to the house with a very high likelihood. You can also try to motion him, snap him. God damn it. God. Damn it. Please. God damn it. That's the thing with, mo with motion snapping this year. I don't have the timing quite down as I used to. Oftentimes, my corner route gets blocked accidentally. And yeah. It's a tight window because Tom Brady once again has a noodle arm. At least this year. I don't know. I don't watch the Patriots games extensively to know how strong his arm really is I think it's a bit stronger than it is in Madden in real life it's a bit stronger than in Madden but it's whatever you can see we get that open pretty easily be aware of a user covering that a way that I personally would defend that by st if I still run cover 2 I run hard flats to take the flat uh, the flat right away I would man up uh, this CB right here on the in rod to make sure that doesn't get open. I'd probably put him in a deep middle. I is either use a high tower or McCordy. I'd probably spy high tower and get a fast user in McCordy and cover this corner out manually. So again, it's pretty easy to cover that play to back that play really because if I use her that that's pretty much okay he got burned pretty badly there but if you need to be aware that those plays can get covered so don't spam them don't expect them to work every time but if you need a play and you if you're like ah, sure they're running cover too which imagine it's th third and 21 third and 21 it's a must convert play for you because it's in the second half and you don't want to give away possession something like that even though most people are not gonna run cover 2 against you in this situation in case they do you know how to burn them pretty much because I can guarantee you to the wide side of the field at least this route gets open I c I'm gonna sh you know what heck uh, I'm gonna test it to the short side too to make sure you know that it's working against the short side. If it does, it's not. Okay. So only run to the right side. Now we got that out of the way as well. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. I hope you learned a thing or two about how to use corner routes. Look for sharp corner routes to beat man coverage and look for those steeper corner routes. I don't know if that if you use that word, if I use that word correctly. Again, I'm Austrian, so I'm gonna make mistakes. My voice was pretty rough today, so thank you very much if you stuck right through this video. Appreciate it very much. And yeah, you want those thinner, thinner corner routes to beat some coverages. If you're beating cover 3, we want the corner route to be on this receiver and motion him out to get a streak on this guy. If we're in cover 2, we want the streak the middle receiver and have the corner route once again. Not a sharp, a thinner corner route on the other receiver I don't know why I'm saying this why I have to re repeat this often I think you get the gist of it 
thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a like if you stayed until the end of the video you're probably like my, you're gonna like my videos so also be be on the lookout for some gameplays with this scheme i'm gonna finish this this scheme there's still some very very good places that i still have to get to and until then thank you very much for watching i think i'm gonna post the next two days too so be on the lookout for that you definitely definitely don't want to miss me don't want to miss those videos thank you much very much for watching peace out